So I think I underestimated how cold this track could get. So start of the track has started cold, then it went hot, then it's cold, now it's freezing. The wind blowing at the top of the mountain can just make it so, so cold. Good morning guys, so today woke up bright and early at 5.30 in the morning, still pitch black, um, and drove out to the Tongariro, Tongariro Alpine Crossing. Um, so we parked the car at the end of the track, and then we got a shuttle bus from there to the start of the track, and so it was $35 for the shuttle bus, but this track is 19.4 k's. <laughs> And we're already kicking rocks at the very beginning of the track. So, it's gonna be the longest hike yet. But apparently, the hike is amazing and hopefully it clears up throughout the day. But this is what's ahead of us. So when we arrived at the start of the track, there was like no wind at all. Apparently it was really rare to have no wind. But now, wind's starting to just blow through. It's getting a bit cloudy. Woo, not very good visibility. So I think we finished like the steepest part of the track, um, but it is like just dead flat now. It's getting pretty cold. Um, the weather is clearing up, surprisingly, but that can only last like a couple minutes. Or less. <laughs> Start of the track has started cold, then it went hot, then it's cold, now it's freezing. The wind blowing at the top of the mountain can just make it so, so cold. So it's always best to bring a, a wind jacket, I reckon. We're gonna smash this. We are killing this track. Oh yeah. Oh, there's the pearls. Somewhere down there. All right, so I kind of think we've actually come halfway, but, we're only like two hours into the track. So I'm pretty sure we're killing it. Um, <laughs> this is like the steepest bit. But over here. So the only bit I wanted it to be clear, and it is clear. So these are all the pearls, and luckily we can actually see them all. Nice. Yes, yeah, time to empty out the shoes. I think you have way more rocks than me. Oh yeah, you have nothing. <laughs> I don't know how. It feels like there's so much more. It is. <laughs>
19.4 k's later and probably just under five hours finished the Tongariro Alpine crossing. Woo! Yes. Um, overall, it actually wasn't that bad of a hike. Uh, it was a lot easier than I thought, so the worst parts of it was um, getting over the mountain and the hills. But, and also the worst part was enduring the weather. So the weather is very unpredictable around here, guys. So all, um, always be sure to bring a jumper and probably like a wind jacket because it can change at any time throughout the day. Uh, and check the weather before you go because uh, if you get a sunny day, it'll be so much better. We didn't have much visibility today until we got to the pools, which was really, really lucky. Um, but yeah, overall, it wasn't that bad of a hike. I quite enjoyed it. And we're gonna walk back to the car from here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, follow your dreams, escape your comfort zone, and I'll see you on another adventure. Woo.